And then I'm going to make this super small rocket. I've flown this one probably around 700 feet before, at least. I don't actually know how high it went because it went out of frame on the drone, and I had the drone about 750 feet. So it probably went way higher than that, but there, I, I, there's no way to tell. But it was at least going 750 feet. So <clears throat> set the diameter on it to, well, so the motor on these C6 engines, you want to find what the size of them are. But mine on the C6-5 engines are tw eight, tw 18 millimeters in diameter. So I'm actually going to create a sketch that is 18 millimeters, and this will be kind of, this will be really useful, and you'll see why. So, and mine is 7 centimeters tall, so that is the size of my motor. Now I'm just going to come right here, go into appearance, and I'm just going to set it to wood, because that kind of looks like a uh, cardboard, so... Like, this doesn't actually serve a purpose, but it will, um, it just makes things a lot easier. Then create another sketch. You're going to want to make it, I gave it a 2 millimeter space, so 20 millimeters. And this is extremely thin. Uh, I put a cardboard tube as an insulator, and it's a tight fit that, like, the engine won't, the motor won't fall out. So, like, you don't even need a lug to hold it in, because it just, it's just so tight in there. But it's not too tight, it's, you can still get it in. Um. And then I just set that to, oh, okay, I see what the problem is. Yeah, so 21.6 is, is 0.8, uh, or is 8 uh, millimeters, or no, 0.8 millimeters, which is exactly what we want. Then click Finish Sketch, and then select this outer ring right here, and extrude it. <coughs> How high you want to extrude it is uh, very, it varies on what you're trying to make. I am going to set mine to 7 point, or 12.7 centimeters but it's a, it'll be a really short rocket if you do that and then you want to come right here and go into opacity control and set that to 50 percent so you can see through it and this will just make things so much easier i'm just going to save this tutorial too i'm just going to save it and then create another sketch and then you want to select on top of the motor so that the plane is where the motor is. This will be my engine block so i'm going to set it in the middle of that like you you want it to be in the middle and then set an inner ring, not too big, not too small. I'll just set it to that big, but that does not matter. Every time I just eyeball it, then extrude it and select both rings and extrude it up about. I think I did 0.5 millimeters, or no, I did five millimeters. I, if I remember, I click not intersect. Click new body. All right, and I'll create a ring, and I'll just keep it from. Uh, I'll keep the motor from going to the top. Uh, and then now we got to make the nose cone, which is pretty. It can be difficult sometimes. And uh, so to do that, or what we're gonna want to do, is make an ellipse because unless you're going over mock speeds, which is the speed of sound, an ellipse is the most effective uh, cone apparently. So you set it to the th how wide you want it to be, which should be the uh, how wide the uh, tube is, and set to how tall you want it to be. So I want the I want the cone to be three inches, and I'll just make an inch and a half tall because it's three inches from top to bottom, and we're gonna cut it into a quarter, and you'll see why. So now <clears throat> create a line, get the line tool, select here, and select the center ring, and then select the center again. And go to the top. Then take this trim tool and cut the cut the quarter out or the three quarters out. So now it's a quarter big. Now you want to get the offset tool. Select this inner ring. I want my wall to be 0 0.8 or 0 0.8 millimeters thick. And so set it to negative 0 0.8 millimeters. And I'll make an that's with the offset tool. Then you want to trim all these lines. And then you, <laughs> this is going to be a tricky part. So how much of a tight fit? I usually go a quarter of a millimeter on both sides, so an eighth of a millimeter. So you want to do 9.875 millimeters. And that will just make a line that is, you know, just barely, you know, barely from the edge. Then you want to go down one centimeter, and this will be the how tall the shoulder is. Okay, then just go 0.8 millimeters out, and then up one centimeter. All right, and that will create this line right here. Uh, just connect these two, and then you want to make a 90 degree line, or my bad, a 180 degree line. Depends on if it's referencing another line or not. It doesn't even matter how wide or how long. It just has to be 
uh, perfectly flat and then select this line right here and once again and so it doesn't even matter that these don't even hit each other even close then you want to delete this original line we made earlier we have to connect at the top so this doesn't really matter if it's flat so an easy way to do this is just square it off right there click finish sketch then click this revolve button select it and then select the axis and hit that and that will basically create uh, this right here and make sure you set it to new body otherwise that will be a problem and this is what it will look like basically it is we're basically creating this hollow cone with a slight uh, slightly inset a little bit and then also slightly flat on, flat on top but this will create the cone that we want that we want but you can always create a different cone if you want so you don't have to follow this this uh, specific tutorial. You can create whatever you want. Uh, but that's just what I do for my rockets. All right, so now we have the body. Now we just need to add the fins and the lugs. So to do that, create a new sketch, hit the side like that, and then hit these lines. And this is up to you how tall you make them. But or no, no, my bad. My rockets usually uh, look like this. But you can make the fins whatever you want them to make. So I'm actually going to make a new thing. I'm actually going to make a trapezoid. Although I do believe that the most... Uh, the best fins are uh, ellip elliptical fins. So if that's true, you just do the same method. You create an ellipse. And then you just cut it in half. And then you just extrude it. Now here's a really important part about it. So finish sketch. So what you want to do is you want to click extrude. Now we could extrude outward like this, new body, but it, then it's not centered. So what we want to do is we want to hit symmetric, which will do it on both sides or total length. So I want it to be. So if you hit whole length, then you hit one centimeter, and it'll do it or one millimeter. It'll do it on both sides. I just hit one side. Okay, I want it to be two millimeters thick. So it hit one millimeter, and then it'll be two millimeters thick, because it's doing on both sides. Okay, now we have our fin. Now we want to revolve it, because there's got to be three. So to do that, go to Create Pattern, Circular Pattern, then select the body from the side, or no, select object, or set Type to, uh, to Objects, to Bodies, I mean. And then, yeah, and then select the whole body, and then axis just select the tube and then take the number of fins you want so you can add as many as you want really but i'm just going to do three because that's just what i always do and it saves filament but you can do whatever you want uh so now we have a rocket basically so now we just need to create some lugs for the uh motor and the uh rocket itself to be on like the the launch pad thing i in my designs i don't have a an engine lug because my engine can just not fall out because of the toilet paper roll or a piece of cardboard which made out of toilet paper roll they have uh, up there. Assuming that your engine is not that going to be that tight of a fit, uh, create an in uh, just create a mo just create a lug on the opposite side. You only need one and put it like towards the bottom, and then you can just put a paper clip and then you can put the paper clip in it and then bend it down so it keeps the motor from falling out the bottom. It doesn't even have to be that big. I usually make them way smaller, like way smaller. So create one, I don't know, about that big, and then create another one. All right, and I also already made it. I'm gonna hide the cone. All right, hide the cone so you can see. Okay, this lug will not go inside. You wanna make sure, so you wanna make sure that the that nothing will get inside of it. So these, as you can see, these uh, wings, they're the inside of it, which is what you want. So you want it to have like a good uh, grip connected, make sure it prints connect to the body, but you don't want it to be inside because that will be a problem. Same with this, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna click Create Finish Sketch, I mean, and then select the outer ring. Oops, didn't mean to hit that. And then click Extrude and extrude it upward and click create new body and bring it up like that and then I pretty much just 
select it like that, and then just move it up a little bit, like that. And then select it again, move it upward, click Create Copy, and then just move it up some more. So then we got some lugs. And so for my rocket, that would that'd pretty much be over, or that would be, that'd be it. But for everyone else, you know, assuming it doesn't have you make a, the ring bigger or use smaller motors or, you know, do whatever you want. Just create a smaller circle.